Welcome to another episode on the Golden Brush Makeup Show. This stage is home to mind-blowing, creative and wonderful forms of art. Today, our contestants will once again prove themselves in our 10-minute mini challenge and also the 40-minute main challenge. Don't go away, we'll be meeting our contestants soon. <laughs> Welcome back contestants, you're all looking radiant as always, please get yourselves comfortable, welcome, 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 we all have interesting looks today, you can see everybody's gearing up, oh I love your look Jenny. you have to try this on me later, <laughs> anyway I'm, I'm sure we're all excited for the new day, for the new challenge, I hope the other challenge did not weigh you down. Please, I want us to be smiling. It's a new day, it's a new energy, it's a new chance to do something better. Speaking of our former challenge, Mary, how did it feel being in the <sighs> weaker spot? Uh, it, was, it was extremely emotional for me. I was crying. I've been crying ever since, but I think it sort of geared me up. I'm like, why? Why should that happen? So I'm being more, um, what's the word, motivated to do more actually. So I, I actually like it. Of course, you don't take failure and go sit down. Mm -mm. You mm -mm. take it and you come back. Yeah, and we stronger. move. Yeah. We move. Okay, <laughs> so I, I'd like to know what is it that you feel you would have done better so you don't land in the weakest spot again this week? What do you think that you would have done better in your last challenge? What do you think would have, you know, taken you above that spot? I felt I would have paid more attention to details because details really counted. More attention to details and trying to leave my comfort zone as well. Okay, that's good. Nelly. Nelly, Nelly, you're always so quiet and so composed and so reserved. How prepared are you for today's challenge? Very prepared. Very prepared. Very, very, you're ginger. Very, if very anybody prepared. stands in your way, <laughs> anyway, to our challenge for today, as we all know, we have a 10 minute mini challenge. We're going to have winner. Today's challenge is sponsored by Warmer Beauty Cosmetics. And your judge is going to be here shortly to give you your instruction. I wish everybody the best. I'm rooting for everyone. I want everybody to win. I don't want anybody going home today. So please let's all work hard so we stay on the stage. I want to keep seeing all your faces. Okay, I wish you all the best. Good luck. See you later. see you again. Uh, are you ready for the challenge? So today uh, for your mini challenge you have to create a look using Oma Beauty lip line like uh, is a lip range only to create uh, an ombre lip with a perfect wing liner. You have 10 minutes to complete the challenge and the time starts now.
am looking out for perfect blending. Whatever you're doing has to be perfect. I work with perfection. I live for perfection. You have two minutes to go. Ten seconds, nine, eight, seven, four, three, two, one. It was clear a wing liner and not what I say here. I made it clear. Nice art, but that, that's not a wing liner. Liner, yes, lip, no. But nice try. The winner of today's challenge is contestant number 11, Jamin. Congratulations. So you guys should take five and come back for the next challenge. I'm validated, yes, and it it actually motivated me, like it motivated me to do more and not to like play safe because this is a competition and I have to like go outside my comfort zone to bring out the best in me. So I think that's what how, that's how the winning made me feel today. Hi guys. Hi. How are you? Good. Thank you. For this challenge, you're going to be creating an editorial makeup look and you have 30 minutes to do so and you're going to do so without any brushes, just your fingers. Your time starts now. Today, we were asked to do an editorial makeup using our hands. Jeez, who does that? In my life, I've, I've never ever tried to use my hand to make up. Don't talk of editorial makeup that is very, very technical and creative. Ah, oh, jeez. Without brushes. Oh, more. Cut me off guard though. Without brushes. Uh, at first, I was excited until he said, without brushes. I gagged. I stood for, I think, a minute to like think of what I would do without brushes. I had to use my hand for everything. So uh, we've noticed that a lot of you are making use of your beauty blenders, your brushes and your pencils. You're not meant to use any other tool apart from your fingers and your, just your fingers to blend everything out. So using your beauty blender is out of it. Please take notes. I picked up my pencil and I started drawing it. Then they now said, no pencils again. Ah. I started using my God-given brushes, my fingers. I started painting, like a painter.
very curious. I want to see this. I didn't even know what I was doing, but I kept on trying my best to use colors on the mother's face. I didn't know what I was doing, but as I just was just running through my head, I kept on using colors. I used my hand to do the lipstick. I used my hand to apply the bronzers. I really don't know if it's going to come out well because I've not done it before, but there's always a first time for everything. Contestants, you have 14 minutes more. But though I, when I started though, that was when the inspiration came because I love playing with colors and I, I established that with, with what I created today. Divine Ubi. I'm from Cross River State. I'm from Ekorin, Eko Yako local government of Cross River State. Um, I'm from the family of six. My dad is late, but my mom is still alive. I'm a makeup artist based in Port Harcourt, Nigeria. I pick makeup as my career after my graduation in school because I was inspired by my little sister. Mm, I love her so much. She said, uh, she just saw it in her friend, that her friend was actually making good money from makeup. That I think she's seen the same thing in me. If I go into makeup, I will do better. Okay, you have one minute left. Contestants, you have one minute left. Hello. Please stop 
then you can leave us now. Thank you. I try to achieve um, a clown editorial look. Do you feel it's cohesive? Do you feel it's, it's complete? It's together? Do you feel it's a look? It's a complete look? Or it's just different elements that are not together? Yes, I feel asking? it's a complete look because... You feel it's a complete look? Yeah, okay. I try to use two different colors. So, okay. Mm, this is not artistically done. See, uh, editorial makeup is makeup for runway and uh, magazine covers. You cannot have this on a magazine cover. Uh, you don't get it. Since it was an editorial look, it was inspired by the colors of my neon pigments. I was trying to play around with them um, colors and I was trying as much as possible not to also go overboard with whatever I was doing. The hat was actually inspired from this wart that you play, that hat shape on the wart. Do you think pink and red go together? Okay, that's, no, I'm done, sure. Do you have anything to so. You do understand what an editorial look is? Yes, it's supposed to be creative. And creative? Yes. Creative makeup looks are quite different from editorial look. Would you see this on the magazine cover? Oh, no. You wouldn't. And that's what we wanted. Yes, um, being editorial, I knew I had to, I understood I had to create something visually striking. So that was why I went for the maxed high look and the glittery lip as well. And I decided to do a monotone with the color blue. Okay. But then on like a deeper level, your um, skin work, isn't so great. I like your makeup. Thank you. Tell us about your look, Maris. Okay, so I got inspired the colors. Like colors splashed on the wall. Yeah, so I used my Leon pigment to do the splash on her eye and above eye. Then I used my flash palette to apply a color in the flash palette to apply it on the mouth. Then put stones here yeah, and Maris, I just want to tell you to take all my money. Just take everything and be going. I love it. I love it so much. Okay, I use a setting spray first, then primed foundation, and then use shimmer all over on one side. But on the other side, I put a little black first before applying the shimmer. Because then I used white primer. What Have a process in mind, mind, yes. yes. What was while, the final doing... picture you were first? What's the story behind Like, what, what were you trying to create, yeah. like? Um, something African, something, because the white and green represents the Nigeria color, so something. Okay. Do you know that African thing is different from editorial? And you can make an ad African thing makeup look editorial, but this looks tacky. I went in with expression. I'm trying to tell a story with my look. The eyes, if you can see, there are two colors and they are alternating. It's, I chose the red because it's kind of an emotion which is the fire pushing me to go forward. And the blue, I chose because it's the coolness that always says, stay put, everything is okay. And the white is just neutral in between. Don't mind me. <laughs> I think it's a good attempt. Did you try to do anything on the skin after you were done with the eyes? I did the skin first. You did the skin first? Yes, I did. But I wanted texture, so I didn't go in with so much. You wanted texture, texture. on her face? Yes. Impress, yes. Thank you. I think what's selling me is your terminologies you're using. Exactly. It shows that you're knowledgeable of what you're doing and what you did, so. Well done. Thank you very much. To some extent, are you proud of your work? Proud of what you did? 
So if you buy a magazine now and you see this, you will, you love it. Hmm? Okay. Thank you. The textures that I actually do not like. Is behold, I don't like it at all though. I don't like it. You're just using things, uh, just using products, you use pink. Is it blush? What no, you... it's not blush, it's an eyeshadow. Eyeshadow, so you use the eyeshadow under her eyes? Yes, and I don't know if eyes. it's in I picture or if that was what it was in real life. Like this blue dot, I don't know, am I the only one that can see it? Yes, I yes. splashed it on it. It's intentional. No, it was I heard you say you've never done makeup with your hands. Because as an artist, you should be able to create looks with anything. Your hands are your absolutely best tools. They warm up your products for you and they help you blend. This is like, it's a perfect, you remember those silicon blenders that I used to? Yes. This is a perfect example of that and it's even more malleable, like it's flexible. So I expected you to ex execute it without being scared or saying, oh, I've never done makeup with my hand before, so let me just do anything. Let me just use this color, please. Do you understand what I'm saying? It's just an extension of your brush. My look is basically about me. It's literally like my whole emotions, the way I feel, the way I think I am. Um, the pigments on her eye represents what I usually do, my norm. Then uh, if you... Notice when she closes her eye, you see the green. The green is me, and you see it tries to come out through the corners of her eye, trying to, I'm trying to like spread my wings, trying to try something new. And you can see the white and black marks as well. This is my journey between yesterday and today, and I'm still trying to find my feet in the editorial world, basically. And the white dots on her forehead are like, my safety steps, I'm still trying to spread myself out into other imaginable ways. And the glitter still on the skin, because I can see, um, I see it splashed all over the face. Yeah. Like on her chin, Yeah, on mm. her chin. Yeah. Okay, I think, yeah, the, the wind must have blown what I was holding onto her face. Okay, so that was So I couldn't clean it off, okay. no. Actually not a bad job, yeah, for someone that is new to this. This is your first time yeah. doing an editorial. Yeah, it's actually not bad. This will bad. be her second time. So, second I'll, time. I'll okay, her second time, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so this is your second time. So that, that's, that, that's uh, it's a good one. Yeah. Uh, thank you. Hope you do better. Thank, thank you. you Can you tell us uh, what inspired this look? Cloud iridescence. Cloud Yes. Okay. Go ahead. So, cloud iridescence happens like when water droplets diffract the sun's light. So I just did um, a splash of or splash of colors around the eyes and then with floating clouds at the tip of my nails. That was very creative. That's what you're doing. Thank you and then did a glowy skin for a more luminous. Immediately I had the, the um, task, I just thought about it. The eye was white initially. Then I yes, thought the I came back and I saw, I now saw colors. <laughs> so what, why did you, okay, it was just the base. You started off with white yes. as a base. Yes, yes. Oh, great. Thank you very much. Well it's really Thank lovely. You. Thank well you very done. much. Well done. Thank you. Okay, so what I, or what we have here is an obscure colored polka dot eleganza. Just wait wow. first, just wait first. Don't, don't confuse us. You know I told you, you talk a good game. Just, let's do it small, small first. Okay. Explain it. Uh, no, no, okay. small, small, small. Okay, without the name. Yeah, without all those things. Just explain it. Okay, no, okay. Okay. Yeah, okay. An obscure colored polka dot eleganza. Oh my gosh. God bless. <laughs> Okay, go ahead. All right, um, the inspiration was, actually the inspiration came when I opened the palette I was going to use. Okay. Yes, and I was about to create a transition color with the purple, the first color on the inner corner of the eye, but then it wasn't 
going smooth as I expected it to be. So when I just put my hand there, it just created a stamp and I was like, well, okay, just play with colors. And I did that with my fingers and I created this. And then for the lip, I had to conceal and then use the a cream shimmer from the palette as well to even everything so out. Apply the concealer to the base on the lip? Yes, on the lip. Then your shimmer. Then the shimmer on it. Yes. Okay. Um I wanted to go with a little bit of sunset sheets at first. So while I was working with the orange color, I remembered I had a chit chat with my brother before coming in and he told me it was that the line was giving better he was and that literally meant the sun was shining and it was raining so i said to i that came in when i was working with the color and then i said to show that and what i painted so the blue kind of stands for the sun for the skylines and then the sun and then kind of raindrop coming down. I thought the little question was quite nice. Yeah. As in the picture is not doing justice. Yeah, at all. Look look at all. But then what we're saying is, you know there's a point as an artist when you're well, done with yeah. your work and you just step back. Even if you still have more time, you don't go in and add more yeah, stuff. Add more stuff yeah. When you applied your blush on the face, your look was perfect. All in all, well done. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, for the top uh, top two, I have contestant number ten. That is Olamide. Olamide's work was quite. It was cool. quite very good. I love like, how she used her nails for the. Those spikes, yeah, like well. That was really pretty. Yeah. Very no, really really look was okay. nice. Well, 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 like, well, not that's... like very striking. For me, yeah. my favorite was Marisha. I really, lo I really love like, her. That's my winner for today. Okay. Well, Marisha. Really yeah. So I think we'll have our top two. Our uh, top two, yes. And our list three. Yeah, exactly. We know who they are now. Who are your list three? Welcome, contestants. Please make yourselves comfortable as usual. Everybody has gloomy faces on. I must admit, today has been a very challenging day. First of all, I want to say that you all are doing amazing work and I'm still rooting for every one of you. Once again, congratulations to contestant number 11 for winning our 10 minute mini challenge. Thank you very much. Now you have one immunity for the next challenge. Hi, hi, hi. <laughs> However, down to the main business of the day. Our two best looks for today's challenge goes to contestant number 10. Thank you. And our overall best look for this challenge goes to contestant number four. This is the part I always dread. Now the weakest contestants on this challenge are contestant number one. Please stand up. Our second weakest contestant on this challenge, contestant number five. Our next weakest contestant
lesson number eight. Please, the rest of you remain seated. And our three weakest contestants, please go meet the judges. How are you feeling? Nervous. You're sad. Do you feel like what you did deserved to not be among this number? Do you feel like your artistry spoke well enough for you? Given the theme you were meant to follow? Now, this is your second time. Yeah, how are you feeling? I'm just tensed. You're not thinking why you came again? Why you're down at the top last three again? And for the second one, I think I couldn't really explain the concepts of what I did. Mm -hmm. Though it was my first trial and it's like, yes, mm -hmm. I couldn't really give it a name, like, explain it. You think it's about the explanation? It's not, not the about the explanation. Your... It's about how you applied what you did. Your execution was it's not. Your execution, not the explanation much. of the work. Do you understand? If you executed it properly, you could have explained it easily. You get me? How are you? I'm fine. What's going on in your mind right now? Nothing really. You feel your artistry today showcase? No. I wasn't so you... creative enough. You were you weren't creative enough. Yes. Okay. You're being honest. I like it. Okay. So um generally, like I believe everybody has tried to the best of their ability. You know, so it's a it's a learning curve you get. So you can only go get better and do better. So, unfortunately, it's a competition, right? So, everything is tough now. It's like crush, crushing all your life experience into one set. You have to bring so, your A game. It, it doesn't mean you're not good enough. It doesn't mean you will never get better. It's just a competition. So, I, whatever happens, I don't want you to feel bad. Or, uh, Susan, please just try and stay here. Sorry. Okay. So, um, the contestants who will be washed off the show today are. Contestant number eight. I'm sorry, you've been washed off the competition. Thank you very much. You can leave us some. Susan. Okay, thankfully you are safe. So you have another chance to bring your A game. Bring your A game. Hopefully we don't see you here again. Alright, thank you. You can leave us now. Yeah. You've been washed off the show as well. So I hope that in your journey going on you'll do better and we hope to see you on billboards and stuff. Just work on your artistry. You have potential, yeah, but you have to harness potential. it. You have to know what you're doing. Uh, thank, thank you. you. Bye. Thank you. Thank you.
been such a gruesome experience and our contestants have been forced to bring out their A-game. Sadly, two contestants have been washed off the show. The competition is getting tougher and if our contestants want to remain on the show, they have to step it up. Our 10 minute challenge was sponsored by Uwama Beauty. See you next week.